for this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the full random booster volume 22. We have our original video uh, going over the prize bays, and this one will be going over all the other bays. Uh, right off the bat, leave a like, leave a comment, and tell me out of the bays we go over in this video, which is your favorite and why. Just quickly read, we have obviously the two Infinite Achilles, Super Satan, six Extreme Dash 1S. We of course got Ace Dragon with the Dragon 2 chip, the Imperial chip. Wheel Rise Gen, Hell Salamander, Outer Universe, Dead Hades, One Dash, High Blow Dash, uh, Dragoon Victory to Expand Eternal, and then after we of course got Drigger Zero Hold, uh, sorry, not Hold, sorry, High Jaggy Dash. And uh, yeah, we've got two new forms of drivers, which are the high drivers, which are basically taller versions of the original. And yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. We're gonna go one by one, so this will be fun. So basically, since there are so many bays to go over, I, I really just wanna just go over them all in one shot per thing. Uh, this one is Super Satan. So I think my biggest complaint is gonna be that I hate the green on it, or whatever. Like, the, listen, the dark blue and the light blue go so well, it's like a weird, what, what, what's, the, what's the color I'm looking for? Is it like teal? Is teal the right? It's not even really teal, like an aquamarine? Wh wh whatever shade you want me to refer to as, I don't, I don't like it. It doesn't go well. It makes it look really ugly. Honestly, this is like one of the few times where you don't put the stickers and it looks better. Uh, but we of course got the Satan chip. So I guess if you never had the Satan chip before, which I guess I'll zoom in, uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. The sparking chip core does look nice inside. It does look nice. This is nothing really new. They've actually reprinted the Satan chip a few times. Uh, so it's really up to you. We of course got the blue super, which I guess is gonna go really well with the blue 1A. Super's not a very good ring. I don't know why it took them so long just to recolor this one, but uh, nonetheless, it's okay. It looks it looks pretty at least without the stickers on it. Uh, moving on, we of course got uh, 1S. So 1S is better than 1D, so I guess that's fine. You know what else would be fine? If they made double chassis for this uh, random booster, there's not just 1B. Uh, I'm never gonna let, it, uh, let them uh, live that down. You know, I guess 1S is fine. You know, if, if we ignore the fact there's like all the other shades of 1S. Uh, then after we of course got uh, the disc, which is six, which is completely awful. Uh, you know, I feel like people are gonna complain about Hasbro for some of uh, their releases having old discs. Uh, TT is not exempt from that. Uh, this was stupid. Why did they not do Drake or like another recolor of Vanguard or like another recolor of Blitz or another recolor, like the GT discs, like, Give us that. Like, I would be all right if it had like a cool recolor of Drake or something. Why? Why six, man? Not even, not even just six. Six with no frame. Now, the one redeeming quality to this is the driver. The driver is like the thing that saves this pull from being like probably one of the worst. So this is Extreme Dash. Now I know what you're thinking. What's what's so special about it? Well, actually, I'm gonna tell you. So. First of all, beautiful view of the thing, Extreme Dash right there. So Extreme Dash, first of all, is a very hard part to get. You can pull it in the Green Dead Hades, which was a long time ago, uh, in the in the Cosmo uh, booster. There's Shadow on Materios, and there was also the Campaign one. But it's a hard, like, competitive driver to get, and not even just get, get multiple copies of. So the fact that they did this was a very, very good move by TT. Also to note, uh, the rubber is pretty soft, which should help with its uh, aggression and its uh, speed. And overall should be very solid for attack. So I think even though this is kind of like a sucky pull, getting this driver, I think makes it all the more worth for it. So with that being said, now that we're just going in the order of each of these parts, uh, I already got the scale up here. Dude, I really just want more copies of Extreme Dash. So thank God they did it. And this goes better with the Dragoon. It doesn't really match the colors on this. But yeah, Satan Chip, 2.8. The Super Ring, 6.3. 1S should be like 16.61. Then after we have six, which is about 21 point, whatever. Extreme Dash, 5.51. All together now. God, that's really tight. We're looking at a very nice 52 grams. I mean, it does look I feel like the camera's doing it more justice than it actually is right now. But uh, moving on, 
We're gonna move over to our next bay. Next up, we have Ace Dragon, which feels so very weird to say. This actually uses the Imperial uh, Dragon chip, and visually, it looks very nice. Uh, the only part that really sucks is the Ace Base, and I know that the Ace Base is actually modified because they actually gave stoppers like uh, Lord on it. You can see so these little stubs right here, you can see are the stoppers that Lord Spriggan has on its lair base, the Keratomi. So that's supposed to help it uh, not burst as much. And the thing is, that'd be a good idea if it was like a base that really deserved it. But Ace is just so awful that it's not gonna really change anything at all. Like having the stopper on Ace, like yeah, maybe it won't burst like too crazy, but the performance on the Ace lair base is not good. So this was like a complete waste to do. It, it, this would be completely different if they put it on like a base, like if they gave the Lord stoppers to Imperial. Other than that, it's it's not very special. Like the teeth, I guess, if you want to see it. I mean, visually it looks really nice. Visually it looks nice, but like other than that, it's not special. <laughs> like the only other redeeming quality is that wheel disc. That's the only other redeeming uh, part of it. With that being said, we got the scale right here. Ranting aside, we're looking at about 2.97. The gen weight is about 1.15. Let's put it on there. And it was smart because wheel, yeah, you know what, they did smart because they put the stopper on the thing and they put Gen, now that I'm realizing, 30.59, four, four star luck boys. I, 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 think, uh, I think I'm think i doing pretty good right now. Wait, how much was this? I'm gonna be using this a little bit more. Uh, 9.44, and then after Rise, I think this Ace Dragon might actually be good luck. Uh, six grams for the Rise. The Rise is very pretty. It's in the colors of Judgment Joker. All together now, you're looking at a total of about 50 grams. And yeah, pretty good. All right, now we're gonna go over the green hell salamander. So I think huge positive is you get the outer disc and it looks awesome. That golden outer looks so, so good. And it's so weird seeing them do like a painted uh, disc because they usually just don't do it for random boosters, especially. Uh, so I think that's really awesome. The green universe is really cool. I'm happy they gave universe some love with some of these recolors. Salamander Lair, you know, looks okay. Looks all right. I just really hate the lack of level chip. I feel even though this was like a decent layer back in the day in the meta for Chozetsu, they, they could have they could have thrown in a level chip, especially for same with Hades too. I don't really think there's any excuse to why they didn't. But honestly, like a golden outer in universe, that's pretty decent. Just to show it uh, with the mode change on there. Let's lock it in. Nice. All right, so we're gonna get the scale here. The layer of Hell Salamander is about 21 grams. We then after have outer, or golden outer, which is about almost 22 grams. We then after have Universe, which is about 8.84. So all together now, this is a total of 51. They see, it's always with the random boosters. They always like give parts just to make sure they're almost all at the exact same specific weight. All right, anyways, uh, we're gonna move on to the other bays. So we're gonna be going over our next bay, which is Dead Hades. And dear God, it looks amazing. Stellar colors and everything. Again, just a level chip would have been nice, but it looks really cool. Just to show the teeth here for a second. Nice, it kind of has this cool little flame thing going on. One dash is whatever. We actually have a new driver here, which perfect, actually, wow, good transition shot, which is actually high blow dash. So what a high driver basically is, is it is the same driver as before, except uh, it is taller. So I actually have uh, some measurements right here. So just to go over the thing, I already hit it. I would say it's a, I, it, it kind of looks like it's almost on three centimeters. On the other side, on the yeah. So I would say the, the high blow dash, almost three centimeters, maybe, maybe a little bit closer, a little bit whatever, but the idea to take away from this with these new drivers is that it's basically the same one, except taller than before. It's interesting they picked attack drivers too, probably just because of how the meta is. So just go back to the top angle, right? You can even see the difference. They even have this weird little uh, separator part on there. So we're gonna get our scale right here. Oh, how much does this weigh actually? 7.21, huh? Okay, next up, we of course got one dash, which is 23, dead Hades, which is 22. And I can bet you it's gonna be 50 or 51, right? Let's, let's see, come on. 
Wow, it's 52. Oh my God, it's like they plan to make sure all the weights are exactly in the 50 to 52 range. All right, anyways, moving on to the next bay. So then after we, of course, got Drigger V, uh, the recolor on the yellow does not look good at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I think even, I think the previous Drigger the TT did a recolor for, Drigger Slash and the Hasbro one, same thing actually, funny enough. They just, they both did the yellow better. Why don't they just do like transparency on it? It's like a weird mustard yellow. It's not even like goldish, which is really weird. Uh, on transition to that zero disc, perfectly fine. As well, we get our second new tip, which is high Jaggy Dash. So this is a taller form of Jaggy. Pretty close, almost three, like 2.5? Maybe like 2.8 or something. And then after this one's like, like two on the dot. So that's the difference. So we're gonna go back to the top just to uh, do the scaling. Top camera. I'm gonna do the scaling. So we of course got our layer, which is Rigger V 2.30. Then after we of course got the zero disc. And then after we of course got the Jaggy, high Jaggy and all together now. And an important thing to mention is that specifically with this pull, there is the alternative recolor. So if you pull, I believe it is Drigger V and uh, Dragoon V, you get the alternate for sword or shield, one or the other. I believe Drigger is the sword, I mean, sorry, the shield, and Dragoon is uh, the sword or whatever, one or the other. When you pull Drigger or Dragoon, you get one of these uh, recolors you know, off the top of my head. 45, yeah, let's go to our last one. We then have to have our last one, and if it wasn't for the fact that you could get, I believe, what is it, the sword? I'm pretty sure that uh, it would be completely worthless. Uh, this would probably be the worst pull if it wasn't just for that reason, but I, I guess it has that one redeeming quality. Uh, the parts that it comes with is to expand and eternal. So the thing is this, it's like they, they don't really have uh, that much uh, use. Dragoon is a silver recolor that's based on, I believe it is a Koro Koro. A previous sort of rare that they did. Now it makes sense for Dragoon V to have that. My only complaint is that it kind of feels bad back to back that for Dronzer V and Dragoon V that they're just both silver. Dronzer V had no excuse for being silver. They could have done like a red Dronzer V or something. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is more variety with the colors. I think Drigger V is like okay, but I'm sure people can understand my uh, opinion. Eternal is like a fine tip. It's just a very weird set of parts. I don't know. I don't really care too much, uh, the teeth on it and whatever. I guess if you're an old gen fan and you really, really want to get Dragoon V, yeah, I guess, I guess. And same with uh, Drigger V. I, that's the only thing I can think of for collectors, I guess. Other than that, nothing really else to say. So we're just going to get the scale out. Bada bing, bada boo. Let's weigh it. 3.2. Thirteen point two. excuse me. 21.58 and then after we of course got the expand and then after we got the eternal which is six grams on the dot i'm actually all right with eternal I, eternal's okay it's a nice stamina tip 44.27 so these are the only ones that are inconsistent with all the weights anyways uh we're just going to show all the bays all together now before we do anything else so so I think overall with this lineup, it's definitely better than Death and Abyss Diabolos by miles, by miles. Like I'm talking a marathon around the world miles for how much better it is. There are some unique ones, right? There are some unique ones. The unique ones is Dead Hades for the high blow dash and Drigger V uh, for the high jaggy dash as well. I would probably, I, this is very hard to rank and I'm trying to think. I think number one would be the Super Satan only because of the good extreme dash. Number two, I'd probably go with the Ace Dragon, just because it's an optional way to get wheel. Uh, third place is going to be a little bit difficult. I'd probably go with Hell Salamander because you get Outer and Universe, and then after Dead Hades, and then after Drigger V, and then lastly, this is a surprise, it was Dragoon. So we're going to be doing battles, so what we'll do is we'll do battles one round against the regular Infinite Achilles, then after the Shield one, and uh, we end off, other than the test launches. All right, first test launch, Dragoon V. It's going around. So just to see it spinning there, very nice. 
Dragoon V, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dragoon V? <laughs> Why did they pick you for the random booster? Yeah, let's uh, let's pick it up. All right, next up is Dead Hades. That looks pretty cool when it's spinning. I think they did a really good job with the orange and everything. We'll let it go on for a little bit more. And that's all the time we have for Dead Hades. Next up, uh, Drigger V. I feel like they really just did do high drivers just because uh, to compensate just for the fact that the meta is, uh, you know, really directed towards attack. And, you know, like for chassis basins, the chassis are so thick, it, I guess it makes sense. Next up is going to be Hell Salamander. The green, the mighty green salamander. Not to be confused with the lizard. All right. So it's always cool to stop it like that. Next up, a dragon. Should is it, it should go to the center. So that was the a dragon. Now we're gonna stop you. We're gonna get the power of the super duper Satan Bay, which never is not gonna sound wrong out of context. You know, it's 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 cool. You know, it's cool. So. The plan right now is that since there are all these bays, I didn't just get this set up for nothing. What we're actually going to do is we're going to do multiple bays at once. How many we're going to do at a time. We'll try to do all of them at a time. Can I maybe do three and three? Because I don't think I can do all at once. We'll do three. Yeah, one infinity. So we'll do, th we'll do two sets of three and threes. I, I, I think that makes the most amount of sense. So it's going to be interesting. Dragoon. Can the three stop infinite Aquila or whatever? Who's the last one standing? My bet's on Ace Dragon, maybe? Or maybe Dead Hades? Dude, Dead Hades is so tall looking at the other ones. It is weird. Infinite Achilles was the last one standing? What? That's pretty crazy. All right, let's do one more round against uh, the Infinite Achilles. Let's get the Dragoon. Three against one against the Infinite Achilles. Can the shield outlast the end? One of them hit the spikes, that seems to be Ace Dragon. Oh, and we get a burst finish. Dragoon has been eliminated. So has Achilles. And the last one standing is Dead Hades. Okay, now we're gonna get the same three against uh, the Sword Achilles. So this should be a little bit more uh, fun, I should say. So let's get it. Can the sword win? That is already in, yes, it, it already killed Dead Hades, so I feel like that was Achilles getting flashbacks. Two against one, Dragon and Dragoon. Oh my God, what irony. And Dragon wins. All right, our next set of three, it's going to be one left. And, yeah, same idea, same dynamic. Yeah, I'm actually curious on this one, all right. They're all clashing now. Super Satan has already wasted all of it, and it's dead. It's it's dead, everyone. That's that's that that that's it for the Super Satan. And now it's up to Salamander. Salamander. Who's gonna take it between these two mighty bays? Ah. Salamander takes it. Okay. We'll do it against now the other Achilles, and then after I guess we end off, and then I'll you know I'll do one attempt to try to get them all at once. Not good, not good. Yep. 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 
You know, it's funny because Dragoon's gonna, yeah, Dragoon's gonna burst either way. Who's the last one standing? Oh god, it's Hell, it's Hell Salamander! Oh my god! Salamander did it! Salamander is now crowned the strongest bay out of the latest random booster. All right, overall, I think uh, you're getting a lot of worth value if you get a full set. I think full set is a lot more rewarding, to be honest, because you honestly get, like, full set, there's honestly no complaints, because you get such a good variety of parts. Uh, better than Death in Abyss, debatable, better than Curse Satan, uh, full lineup of random booster bays, but, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to be uh, ending off uh, this video. So, of course, I want you to make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your favorite one out of this whole set. Uh, I honestly am gonna actually might go with Dead Hades. I, I really like Dead Hades. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have an awesome, amazing day.